Leroy. Hey, I knew the importance of what is happening with the Miami Heat when I got an unannounced phone call. Oh, yeah. And he gave me like a five minute Leroy. Yep. <laughs> uh, I, love, I love your response to him, too. Yeah, I don't I'm like look, this Mickey Ficky. <laughs> that was your response. This, this, like, look, there are moments in your life you remember, you know, <laughs> where were you? The wedding, birth of your kids. You remember the feeling, you know, it never leaves you. Heat's champion. Ray Allen shot. Who could oh, forget? You know, oh. Alex Gonzalez walk off home run. Those were good. I don't know if they were as good as Sham saying that Damian Lillard has requested a trade to the Miami Heat. So here's that was, I mean, that was such a good feeling. But but I here's could, the difference between I you and I me. Could, I wish I could bottle up that feeling of reading that tweet and just have it forever. It was so good. But here's the problem. So you go at Twitter and you can weave in and out of Twitter to know what's reality and what's not. Yeah, yeah, I saw a tweet that said the Miami Heat and the Portland Trail Blazers have worked something out and they're looking for a third team. Mm -hmm. I don't know how accurate that was. Oh, you got drip skylarked? I don't know. That's the word. The word is that they got to use a third team because apparently the Blazers don't want Tyler Hero. That's the uh, that's that's the word. <laughs> really? the nah, they don't want them. They don't need them. And they don't. I mean, they don't need them. I guess. But like, I, I feel like Tyler Hero is being very disrespected throughout this entire process. The guys. Are I good mean, players. for the last two years. <laughs> the so guys. Are, how the about guys a guy who got maxed out? A guy who got maxed out, right? Every year, every trade deadline, and then a team, like because keep in mind, last year it was Kevin Durant. And the Heat didn't want to give up Tyler, Bam, or Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Now, well, I don't know about Tyler, but I just don't think they were ever really in the talks for Kevin Durant. But and, and then and then <laughs> finally, you decide we'll trade Tyler, and the other teams say we don't want him. Don't want him. It, it has wait. And can I just say this? By the way, based on some of the contracts I've seen get thrown out this week, I don't know if he is too expensive. Here's the problem. If you're a rebuilding team, you don't really want to bring in a contract that hasn't kicked in yet. I understand that. It has nothing to do with Tyler Hero's ability. It has to do more with where they are and what they – because. Keep in mind, they're gonna get a they're gonna get a whole bunch of first round picks. Maybe they, they already got they already got some young talent. And so if you bring in a guy that's gonna be making 20 plus million a year, by the time all those guys' contracts are up, you're gonna have already been paying a guy and you're not there yet. Yeah, I mean, well, listen, you have to pay some people. There's a salary floor. Like, you you have to you have to put some people on the books. I think the thing is that Anthony Simons and Tyler Hero are kind of samesies. And, and right. they've already done that. They've basically given the Tyler Hero contract to Simons. So I think that's probably Wait, who do you so. think is, is Simons the one they just gave 160 to? Yes. No, that's uh, – they just well, they just gave a heap of money to Jeremy Grant, too. Jeremy Grant. Okay. But, but guess what? That ain't even close to Tyler's contract. That Jeremy uh, Grant contract? Jeremy Grant got more money. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's making 32 a year. Yeah. But I, so I think do you want to have two guys making 160 and 150 and your team ain't there yet? Yeah, it's it's I get you. I get you. But I it think has, it's also and, and, and I'm gonna say this has nothing to do with Tyler Hero's ability. Mm -hmm. This all has to do with the number on him and where they are as a franchise. I think the I think the thing with them is I, I think it's like look they got their they got their guards they got their backcourt um and and so like you look at Tyler and you're like oh let's see if we can get an asset out of him from another team I think that's probably what they're looking right. at from that standpoint and then um 
you know, we'll see what else that he'd have to throw in there. You, I think you for, know, for you know, you know who um no, he signed 160. Who Anthony Simon signed a four year 100 million oh, deal. That's what so, I'm saying. So right. therefore, you don't want to have a, a backcourt where a backcourt making sixty million a year, right? And the fr- and they're not even their franchise. It's just more backcourt so, number. It's, it's just more they so. Just it's them. just a redundancy of players. Like it's like mm-hmm. you have the you have two guys who do the same thing basically. But but again, whether you, you think said, Tyler's better, whether you think Tyler better or not better, like they have matter. a guy who does who they invested but in. To say this is not, and and I'm just saying to get to this point, this is not a disrespect thing. This is kind of a situational thing that. It's no disrespect to Tyler that we don't want him. It feels but we already got our guy. It feels disrespectful just from the from you can everybody. put that twist on it. No, it, it's reality, not a twist. It's it's true. Different. Everybody's acting like the guy's a bum player and he's not. He's good. No, they already got their guy. Eh, what's he done? I mean, has he won six man of the year? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. That's where we're going with that. I'm just saying. Like, what has he done? Anthony Simons. Please. <laughs> Look at you, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Listen, know, Look, here's the thing. Hey. The Blazers, here's what's going to happen, Leroy, okay? Here's what's funny about it. The Blazers are acting like they're, they're big boys. They're not big boys, okay? They're in the high chair right now. Riley says, here comes the airplane. You're going to take your deal. You're going to like it. You're going to give us... <laughs> Here comes the airplane. Sorry. So, so, so they're going to eat their green beans? You're going to eat your green beans, Joe Cronin, <laughs> and you're going to do what Pat Riley says, and you're going to deal Damian Lillard to the Miami hey. Heat. You want to know something? Here's the rules. Here's the rules. I just want everybody to know the rules, okay? This is the NBA. The stars get what they want. I don't know if anybody's been paying attention to the yeah. last 15 years, all right? Yeah. The stars get what they want. That's how it works, okay? I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I've been waiting for this moment forever for one star since Jimmy Butler to say, I only want to go to the Miami heat and Damian Lillard did it. He's basically like the perfect player for Jimmy and bam. And guess what, Portland, you're going to trade him. You want to know why? Cause nobody's been better than that dude. As far as a stand up character guy. Right. All right. He's put up with your nonsense. He said one thing, this was his rules for him to stick around. Please don't draft a 19 year old. Oh, you ended up with a third overall pick and you're going to draft Scoot Henderson. Cool. Trade me where I want to be traded to because nobody's been better to this franchise than me. And you want to know something? They're going to do it because that's what happens. Every star gets to go where they want to go. Hey. Even the stars who <laughs> aren't as nice as Damian Lillard get hey. to go where they want to go. Blair. So you're going to do what he says. You're going to eat your green beans, Cronin. You do what you want. If you want us to reroute Tyler Hero so we get you another pick, fine. You don't want your Tyler Heroes? Okay, we'll give you a Jovich. You don't want your Joviches? We'll give you a Hakez. Whatever it is, Take your assets that you want, and let's move on and give us Damian Lillard. That's how it's going to go. I have a question, Toby. Hmm? What makes you think that the third team, because there's going to have to be a third team in order for you to get Tyler, uh, in order for you to get Dame Lillard. What makes you think a third team is going to want to help the Miami Heat again in getting? Because I don't think that third. Lane? Because I don't think that third team is is in contention. Like the big team that's in there is Brooklyn, right? And why would and Brooklyn's out to get Dame as well? So why would they <laughs> not cut the middleman? Why would they want to be the middleman? Because here's why, Vlad. Because they're not out to get Damian Lillard. That's why. Because if they wanted Damian Lillard, why are they trading Joe Harris? Why are they trading their piece? Because they why want they... to get more money. No, no. Here's why. You want to know why? Because they realize mm, we can't compete. Oh we were a six seed last year. We were a six seed. The Heat. They were a fake eight seed. Okay. They know. They know because they know. Everybody – see, here's the thing, Vlad. If, you, if there would have been a list, then okay, I would have heard you out. There's not a list. He said, I want to go to the Heat. And then and what happened after that? Then, then Portland said the Heat are not the only team they're going to listen to. <laughs> you see you see what I mean? That, that's, what, that's what a Tyler hey, said. Vlad, Vlad, Vlad. Vlad. And, and you know, this was amazing. High chair and he's going to eat his green beans. What if he would have said – I want. To, I only want to go to Brooklyn. He would be so livid right now. Oh my oh, God! Why would you want to go to that <laughs> losing I mean, organization? Well, no, 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 no. I'll tell you what I'm going to be more livid with, and I because I haven't been living with this man in a long time. All right, says he let D Wade leave. Big spot. The only Dame gets big spoon. Wow! Look at that! that. Oh, look that at that sandwich! sandwich. Oh yeah! Man, he's going to be done by the eleven o'clock hour. Uh, oh, the, 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 uh, the breakfast variety. Oh, that couch is going to be – you're going to lay on that couch right now. No, look, I haven't been mad at Pat Riley since he let D-Wade go to Chicago, okay? Pat Riley. Don't lose. (laughs) 
Hey, can I get Pat? Can, Pat? Don't they, don't you have Damian Lillard only request the Miami Heat and you lose Damian Lillard? Don't hey. lose. How would you feel? Hey, I'd be so mad. Hey, I'd be curious. Can I can I just say this? Can I just say this? I know we've been all excited about Dame mm-hmm. coming to the Heat and mm-hmm. all the oh, it's gonna be so good, hoopla dude. this weekend. You see that? Uh, you see? That? Can I just say this? Hold uh-huh. on. Mm-hmm. I'm tipping my juice. To my guy. Who? You know who. I don't know who. who? Andy Ellisberg? Vic! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I had to I'm put my fine. glasses on. And he go wasn't going to play this year anyway, though. I don't care. You know how I feel about Vic. Gotta give that, you got you to clear up that room. I know. I know. And I know he's not going to even play. I miss him. <laughs> Lost a lot of guys. Gabe Vincent I, got, hey, got paid. You got ugly. Hey, Drew's, Vlad. Oh, so much ugly. Vlad, Vlad, no lie. From day one, I have told Tobin, Vic Oladipo is one of my favorite players. No, I get it. I mean, if you know his story and you just know the way that he is as a person, you always, you will, you will. Yes, root you will always root for Vic Oladipo. So root, I yeah. think that's where I am with that. Yeah. I just wish I could root from close instead I'm of from afar. I'm going to miss Vic, too. You're still rooting. It doesn't matter if you're I'm rooting. rooting. Yeah, he, I'm telling rooting. you, of all the athletes that I have met and known and mm-hmm. hung out with, from day one, I've always been a fan of Victor Oladipo. I can't – and that's not like me. And I can't explain it. Vlad, I can't explain it. When we, when we talk to him, listen. I got the warm and fuzzies that he was in the building. Nah, he's the nicest he's person. Nice. Yes. Like, nice. Yes. You start no, talking to him, you're like, you, but dude, you want to sing to me? Like, yeah. like <laughs> you want to sing a couple of bars? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but guess what? what? you want. He'll be back in here for the Chiefs keys. Don't worry about it, dude. All right. All the right. Chiefs. You know, <laughs> hey, you know I'm going to be there to greet him. Absolutely. He'll be back. He'll be back one day. Yeah. But All not right. before we get Dame Dollar. All right. Look at the smile. <laughs> not before we get Dame face. Dollar. That Saturday was so good, dude. I mean, I was hey. not to mention you had to like it was almost like old school because you had to go through the Twitter weeds because stupid Elon Musk broke his own website. He bastard. What about Elon Musk not paying his iCloud bill? Really? What? That's, That's why, why Twitter- it broke. Is that the reason? Yes. You couldn't like the reason they put a cap on the amount of tweets you could read is because they couldn't handle that they, they didn't pay their data bill. The guy, like Elon Musk, he runs one of the biggest websites in the world, and he pulled an us where we didn't pay the direct TV bill in here. <laughs> and then he's like lying to all of us. He goes, well, I've uh, capped you all at 600 views a day. 600 views? I do that in an hour. Get out of here. So, you know we got to hear about this vacation. Right? I got plenty to get to. Don't worry. Right. But, but, but first yeah. things first. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm so excited. When is hey. it? Uh, when is it? Business time in Portland. When does this guy wake up? Cronin. It's well, seven o'clock. Seven fifteen. You're gonna you're gonna trade me Damian Lillard today. Let's go. Let's go, Cronin. And and the most important part of this hmm? is happening in the summer. So you're gonna have a whole a whole preseason and whatnot to get everything fit, situated. You hmm. ain't gonna have to do like the Heat have had to do for the last two years. And put everything together until everybody get back. Oh yeah, you listen. We gotta, we gotta get going. Summer leagues tonight. We need and, to start talking about. For the most and part, Dallas in Vegas next week, courtside with Bam. That's when you got three happen. healthy stars. Okay, it's happening next week, guys. It's happening uh, next week when they're in Vegas. I think this trade's happening today. You don't get really? that. I think before it we get off the before, air, it ain't happening before. I think before the we get off the air today, Damian Lillard's on the heat. It's not happening. Before I get, the I'm fourth. telling you right now, Chris Haynes. He's tweeting that thing before the show's over today, that Damian Lillard's on the heat. This is not happening until they get to Vegas. Here's how it's going. we got Damian Lillard has been traded to the Miami Heat hey, with that, hey, with that Yurkic fellow. Vlad, okay. you might be on to something. You know why? Hmm? Here's why. Because you can act a certain way with Pat on the phone. But face-to-face? 
You got to deal with that smoke face to face. And well, okay, that's apparently Gabe Vincent turned him down. So yeah, but I was uh, yeah, well, wait a minute. And beautiful wait, Santa wait, wait. Monica. I put you, I put you in, 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 in his, in Gabe's spot. He ain't made no money like all these other guys. No, I'm with you. I'm not saying and you I'm gonna give him three million dollars less. I'm just saying he turned him down. Now that three million dollars less. That's sick. What he signed a three year deal. He signed a three year deal. Yeah, you million. talking about nine million dollars? I'm Come with on, you I'm for just your saying first he, contract. I'm just that saying ain't he turned him down. I'm just saying he did say no to him. Like Pat, Pat tried. Don't, guess what? Don't make a BS offer. Pat, Pat Riley did try. Well, he tried to. I think he tried to schmooze him with the whole ah, tax, you know, tax. Like he tried to do no, the tax move. No, no. And, and, and like, and, and Gabe Vince is like, nice try. Heard about this one. Yeah, right. You know, Gabe's going to be a, a star, right? Yeah. Oh, dude. I mean, like, but not on the court. No, but, oh, yeah, of course. He's going to, he's, he's going gonna to be, be on keeping up the he, Kardashians. He's going to take off. He has a Kardashian. He has a whole family tree. Yeah. The Kardashians are making a move on Gabe. Gabe One Vincent, of them is going to make a move. Gabe Vincent had hit nobody's stock went higher than Gabe Vincent signing with the Lakers because that dude went from undrafted scrub to like the next Magic Johnson. They're, like this guy is going to be. Kendrick Perkins hey. already called. Did you hear what Kendrick Perkins said? He was the second best Kendrick player. Perkins, on the Heat. Kendrick Perkins called him Leroy the second best player on the Heat last season. And I'm like, wow, it's good to be a Laker. I mean, it's good <laughs> to be a Laker. Like, hey. it's, it's unbelievable the stuff they do. As upset as I was about Vic, boy, we had to talk J Fig off the cliff. Oh, oh she's, she's right. She's in a bad <laughs> she's, mad at, she's mad. She was so mad. Mad. Yeah, she's mad. She's not happy right now, dude. <laughs> She is they not happy. Jay Fig's eye candy. She's not <laughs> happy, dude. She is not happy with Gabe Vincent. I would take a quick break. If you guys want to call in about the Damian Lillard trade, 305 567 0560. We also got some boots on the gram, boots on the tweets from Tyler Hero, sending signals that he may be ready to say goodbye. We'll get to that coming up as well. Back with more for this. The old crony. And, you know, he's like, oh, he's going to give him time. I'm like, time for what? You knew. You had a feeling. Here's why I got feeling. annoyed by that meeting. Why? Because I don't know why was it important for the owner to come out and say what he said. And it seemed very inaccurate. But he was trying to save face. Yeah. and And you really didn't have to. Everybody understood the situation. You could have just came out and said, look, we had a meeting with, with, you know, with Dame. We're going to continue to have conversations and we're going to try to do right by Dame. Well, this is the thing. And that would have been it. But to come out and say the meetings were great. I have no, like, if anything, you pissed Dame off to to move forward even faster. I agree. I think you coming out with a statement makes you look like even more of a fraud. Right. Um, I don't know what the point is. And Damian and, what, and everybody and then and then now it's becoming petty for this reason. Because I just, you know, perused through Twitter and it said that the Portland Trailblazers are listening to everybody. Yeah. And not just the Miami Heat. And yeah. and I and I would say this. If you if you feel so good about the relationship that you have with Dame mm-hmm. and the meeting went so well, why would you come out? It's almost like you coming out and playing hardball against Dame. Well, this is the thing that's funny about it. It's like, okay, now all of a sudden, and, and, and I know you 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 think I get crazy about this stuff, but it is funny. Like Oh, so now somebody wants to come to the Miami Heat, and now all of a sudden we're going to tell the star you don't get to go where you want to go? Like, that's what's funny to me, is like you have all these people, well, why do they have to listen to Damian Lillard? Why do they have to respect what Damian Lillard wants? It's like, wait, because always that's what happens? Like, right. Kevin Durant, James Harden twice, Kyrie Irving, like, everybody gets what they want in this scenario. Like, everybody, you're telling me about, like, the people who are pains in the asses and grumps all over the league get to go where they want. And Damian Lillard, who's been a, just as a plus a model player, citizen, everything for your organization, you're gonna be like, mm, we don't have to listen to Damian Lillard. All right, then don't. You know what? Show that you're gonna disrespect the greatest player in your history. Tell me, they don't always go to 
their exact destination that they want. Mm. Like, yeah, they do. Kyrie's always been wanting to go to L.A. He never went to L.A. He went to Dallas. Like, there's they go to they usually go to their second or but, but L.A. had nothing to trade for him. Though. Here's like, what here's what makes it different with Kyrie though. With Kyrie, his passage. You're not passage. get right. You're not just getting a all star basketball player. You're getting a guy that you're gonna have questions moving forward. And Dallas just took that chance to say, we don't care. A lot of teams wouldn't have done that. Anthony right? Davis, same thing. Anthony Davis, like, oh, you know, he's only going to go and play for the for, for the, uh, for the Lakers. But the Lakers had a lot to give that New Orleans one. But they were the only team that could be in the offer because they said he was only going to play for them. Otherwise, he would show up with a shoulder injury. Like, you're doing revisionist history there. Like, the, the, the whole point of it was the guy who was in the prime of his career, one of the best assets around the league, the only place – that Rich Paul was going to let him get traded to was the Lakers. You don't remember them shutting oh, him okay. down with the shoulder yeah, injury okay. because okay. of it? That's Rich Paul. Oh, what about San Antonio? Kawhi wanted to go to the L.A. San Antonio's a rare one. San Antonio, they traded DeMar DeRozan. And um, they sent him to Toronto. And then he left. Right. Like, they, they, they got the ultimate payoff, but, like, he did right. leave. Right. It, 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 was, it was probably. He did go the, exactly. It, like it's, he, it's the one situation that terrifies a lot of teams. You're trading assets for a loner. Right, but, uh, it worked one, out, but it never, never usually works out like but, that. But you're also saying, but there was that like that bonus asset is that he only had one year left, so it, right. if it, it had to work out or it would have been the last. The last time that he were in a situation like this, honestly, was with Jimmy, and it was Jimmy in Minnesota. That was the last time that he were in a situation where Jimmy wanted to come to play in Miami, and the Heat didn't want to bend to what Tom Thibodeau wanted. And he ended up getting flipped to Philadelphia. Philadelphia. And so now eventually he got here, but, you know, it took an extra half season, but like, that's the last time you were in a scenario like this, where somebody said, I want to go to Miami. He had it. And it not it honestly worked out for him. They didn't trade Bam on a bio. So, you know, but Vlad, here's the other way. But, my, but Dane's here's, already signed for three years. Like his contract is guaranteed. They, yeah, but, here, yeah but these other guys but, had one year left in their contract yeah, but where here's they the, would become a free Okay, agent. but people are acting I, – I hear that argument. People are acting like paying Damian Lillard at 37 years old $63 million is a good thing. Like, that's, not a lot of teams want to sign up for that. That's not the a heat, good thing. Yeah. The, the Heat are like, all right, we'll do it. Like, that. Here's the, that's the argument on the Heat side where it's like, hey, dude, you guys worried about si paying Damian Lillard at 6162 at being at his age? 63 million you don't have to anymore you guys could go with your rebuild you want to cripple a rebuild you want to cripple a franchise go pay that guy at his age what his what his price limit is gonna i'm not saying he doesn't deserve it but it's a risk not many guys make that hey, money hey vlad vlad mm -hmm. why are he trying to sell us on the deal all right i'll make the trade <laughs> oh, the here's the only thing i got him even though you know I'm the Nick fan here, I gotta be the guy to be throw some uh, opposite to you guys. Everything is positive, but you also gotta understand that from Saturday it went to it looked like it was a given that he was coming to Miami. To now Monday, we're like, okay, they're gonna have a meeting today. Hopefully, the meeting goes well. He lets them know hey. him and his representatives let Cronin know I'm only going to Miami. Make the deal happen in Miami because if they have a meeting, he's like Cronin says. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna make sure you go to a good situation, a contending situation. Whoever has the best offer, mm -hmm. then Miami's no longer a favorite anymore. Well, who's the other offers? I'd love to know. San Antonio. Okay. Really? Because here's the question I okay, asked, dude. and there's reason why I asked. I, I, I asked this question: Would this trade? Would Dame want to? Ha would Dame would want to be traded if Portland had the number one pick? I'll tell you right now. Here's the here's the real thing of it. Would they? Would he? Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. So Sanin, if he had Wimbenyama, would, would he, he have one to be traded? Honestly, though, if I was a – if Damian Lillard honestly wants to make the Blazers fan – and I know there's going to be Blazers fans who are ingrates, but the one thing that would honestly piss me off as a Blazers fan is if he went to San Antonio. Because, like, wait, you could go play with Wimbenyama, but you can't play with Scoot? Yeah, because Scoot plays my position. Wimbenyama does it. doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> I, like you, can't go from, you can't go from young player to young player. Like – if I'm a if I'm a Blazers fan, it's like, oh, Dame wants to go try and win a ring. I get that. But him wanting to go to another situation where he's paired up with a young guy, I don't get that. I, that's not just I, some I, young I just, guy, though. He's not no young. He's not any young. We don't know what he play. is. It's, we don't know what he is, though, but dude. If, you're really? going by, if we're going by what everyone is saying, right? 
he is the greatest prospect right. to ever come to and ever get, And guess what, dude? Ever so, be and guess what? LeBron didn't make the playoffs his first two years. Like but he's he still have, he's still a child. He didn't have a Dame Lillard with him. Come on, dude. Come on. You it, think, was Le, it was LeBron you, with Darius you, Miles and 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 what? Carlos Boozer? No, that's not getting it done. That's not getting it done. That's not getting it done. Come but on. you're not winning a ring with Wembenyama in his first year. You, but you could then get out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Now I'm gonna stop you on this because I do believe Dame's gonna end up in Miami. But I'm gonna say this: Dame with Wembenyama. Come on. What about it? You you don't think they're gonna? No, it's a child. A child that's seven five and has the skills of a point guard. We have no idea what he can do. He can shoot a three, miss it, and rebound. His you guys own have literally watched him. On, you guys have literally watched him on TikTok and nothing else. How many women really? have you so watched? So we did the same thing with LeBron. No, LeBron was. We actually watched LeBron like high school games. And and they don't show. Women Yama have been playing with men. Bro, come on. I'm going just crazy. saying. Wait There's a, a difference in dominating high school. Swarwick for your boy. I am, but if you told me that you, you, you're pairing up Jovic and Damian Lillard, I'm not saying they're going to contend for a championship. But you see, when I'm just saying Jovic. I'm just saying his skills and the people he was going against. It wasn't this. It was the same guys that uh, Victor Wembanyama was, was going against in Europe. Yeah, but you were going you wanna, crazy. And, for him. and you, you want to know what they did with Jovic? They redshirted him the entire year and said, "Hey, get some weight on, little fella." Because Jovic doesn't have the skills like Wembanyama. Yeah, Wembanyama. Well, about that, we'll see. We'll see tonight, dude. Really? Summer league. Are you? <laughs> Dude, why? Can I ask you a question? We call this the Little Sweetener Showcase. No, here. <laughs> Wait, can I ask you a question? Everything will be going good. Me and you will be kumbaya. And then you have to say that thing that just is so ridiculous. Dude, it's not just us mm -hmm. who are saying these things about Wimbenyama. Dude, Everybody there's is. There's not a person. There's not a person in this league. That thinks if you put Damian Lillard with Wembenyama, they're a contender. I didn't. Okay. I'm not necessarily saying they're a contender. Well, then what are we arguing? They'll be in the playoffs. Will they? Yeah. Yeah, they would. Okay. Yes. You Easily. Pop, Pop Lillard, and V-Dub? Oh, yeah. Pop's done such a great job getting his team to the playoffs. They're the number one pick this year. What that a was, genius. That was the plan. Hey, <laughs> what <laughs> happened the last time they had the number one pick? Yeah, they got Tim Duncan. They Dynasty. And and guess what? With and David guess Lama. what? Wibin Yama is a higher prospect than Tim Duncan. Okay. He yeah. is! Okay, dude. He is! Stop. You're disrespecting Tim Duncan. I'm not disrespecting. You're scaring him right now. Hey. A, a high I thought you were going to say like uh, Philadelphia wait, or something a high, like wait, that. A high rated, wait, a high-rated prospect has nothing to do with what a guy has done in the league. I'm just talking about to this point. Dude, let's be. Wimbin Yama Nero, was a higher a prospect kid. than Tim Duncan. Fine. He's a kid. Honestly, if you told me that you paired Damian Lillard with Joel Embiid, you're not guaranteeing a championship for him. The reason that he, why everybody's, why, why everybody's peeing down their shorts is because you're pairing him with Jimmy and Bam. And they just went to the finals. That's why. Yes. That's why he wants to come here. You're replacing Gabe Vincent with Dame Dalla. I don't care how handsome Gabe Vincent is. Oh, look now, now Vlad. Huh? This is this is the the part in the show where you try to justify and make it okay that a guy is gone. What do you mean? I'm just saying, like now you just poo pooing on Gabe Vincent because a Dame Dollar. What poo poo? Right, you are. <laughs> Damian Lillard is better than Gabe Vincent? Yes, of course he is. Oh, not Kendrick Perkins. I saw Gabe. I thought Gabe Vincent was amazing last year. He's not Damian Lillard. Of course he's not. I'm not saying that. Not as handsome either. Damian but, Lillard, way but, better looking. Way better. Way better looking. Whoa. Way better whoa. Looking. Jay Fick is Jay Fick. Way here? better looking. Dude. Oh, Jay Fick is. You, better think, better you say Dame Dollar is way better looking than Gabe Vincent? Oh, what a looker. Definitely a better rapper. You seen those Modelo commercials? Dude, why, 